Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to make a quick and easy microwavable muffin in a mug. I'm actually using a ramekin today uh, just because I like how it comes out. It's a nice size and you get a nice round, almost like an English muffin. So today let's dig in and see how to make a quick low carb keto bread that you can enjoy as a sandwich for breakfast or just butter it and toast it. Um, it's really just a quick way to give yourself some bread. So to start, I take three tablespoons of almond flour. And I'll just put it right there in the rain can. And then a tablespoon of coconut flour. Now I really like to mix my coconut flour and almond flour versus just using one or the other. I find it gives a better texture, more like flour. Um, almond flour can you know, pretty much taste like almond and coconut can pretty much taste like coconut. But coconut flour, if you use it by itself, it does tend to be a little bit spongy. So mixing about three or four parts almond flour to one part coconut flour has been working well for me. And that's typically what I do for my recipes when I'm converting regular recipes. I like to use a three or four to one ratio for uh, almond flour to coconut flour. So I've got my, my um, almond flour and coconut flour already mixed in. And then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Now I like to make my own baking powder. The kind you buy in the store typically has aluminum and it actually some, has corn products. Um, I actually took a food sensitivity test and I discovered that I'm sensitive to corn and it's probably no surprise because corn's in so many things. It's really literally hidden ingredient. Um, corn starch particularly. You know, there's even corn fiber now that's being put into keto products. So check the labels and see what you've got. But to make your own baking powder, all you have to do is mix two parts of cream of tartar with one part of baking soda. So it's really just a two to one ratio there and then I like to keep it in a little jar so that it's nice and handy for me. <clears throat> so for this uh, minute muffin, you're gonna use a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Mine just happens to be homemade. And then you want to add about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I like to use the pink Himalayan salt or sea salt, but today I've got some pink salt. And just stir that in. All right. Now you're going to add in your wet ingredients. So you need to have one egg. and a teaspoon of oil. I like to use avocado oil in mine, um, but you can use any kind of cooking oil. Coconut oil probably would work as well, as would butter or ghee. Um, I just happen to like avocado oil. And you're gonna wanna add about a teaspoon of that. So let's see, I've got half a teaspoon and another half a teaspoon. And then you're going to want to mix this up so it pretty much looks like a nice batter. So, you know, your quick breads, it's going to turn into a little batter. And you're probably going to need to be a little bit careful because unless you've got a taller mug. Um, so I just stir everything right up into the container that you're using and make sure it turns into a nice batter. I like to use a fork. I find it works well. Uh, you just want to kind of get those clumps of coconut out and make sure everything's mixed in. Now a lot of people say that these minute muffins are, are really just a souffle because it's the egg typically that gives it that nice rise like a bread. All right so Smooth it up a little bit on the top. 
Now it's ready for the microwave. So let's head on over to the microwave and put it in. So you're going to want to microwave this for about a minute. But it could really take anywhere from a minute and a half to 30 seconds. And it is going to be hot when you take it out of the microwave, so be careful. Okay, so I just took it out. It was in the microwave for a minute, and this is how it looks, and it smells just like fresh baked bread. Mmm, I can't wait to try a bit. So I usually just loosen up the edges, and it usually just pops out. There you go. And there you are. A fresh baked muffin in minutes in the microwave. And you can certainly cut it in half. Add some butter. Toast it. Make a sandwich. It's one of the easiest ways to get some fresh, low-carb keto bread quickly. It only takes a minute to bake, and it tastes amazing right from the microwave. Mmm. Delicious. You gotta try this one. So let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye -bye.